Title, U.S. Secretary of State Blinken unleashes Tongan storm, beware of the dragon's gifts. T.L. D.R. Anthony Blinken, the first ever U.S. Secretary of State to visit Tonga, pledges increased support for Pacific nations while issuing a fierce warning about predatory Chinese investments. As Washington intensifies efforts to counter China's growing influence in the region, Blinken dedicates a new embassy in Tonga, emphasizing their commitment to the Indo-Pacific. However, he cautions against Beijing's aid, which often comes with strings attached, raising concerns about good governance and corruption. In a groundbreaking visit, Antony Blinken, the United States Secretary of State, set foot in the picturesque island nation of Tonga to dedicate a new embassy, marking a historic moment for both countries. As the first U.S. Secretary of State to visit Tonga officially, Blinken conveyed unwavering support for Pacific nations, acknowledging their shared future in the Indo-Pacific region. Speaking to his hosts in Nukulawfa, Blinken emphasized the significance of tangible projects that can genuinely impact people's lives. Issues like climate change, development, and illegal fishing were highlighted as top priorities for cooperation between the U.S. and Tonga, aiming to strengthen their partnership and mutual understanding. However, amidst the warmth and camaraderie, Blinken issued a sharp warning about China's actions in the region. He raised concerns about predatory economic activities and investments that may undermine good governance and foster corruption. These cautionary remarks come as part of Washington's efforts to counter China's growing influence in the Pacific, with Tonga being the latest target in their renewed diplomatic engagement. While Tongan Prime Minister Wakabe Mele Kusiasi Sovalini welcomed the shared respect for democracy, rule of law, and the rights and freedoms of others, the U.S.'s diplomatic push in the region is evident. The recently opened U.S. Embassy in Nukulawfa, operational since May, further symbolizes Washington's renewed interest and commitment to its Pacific partners. Anticipation surrounds Blinken's upcoming destinations, with Wellington, New Zealand, and Brisbane, Australia, on his itinerary. In New Zealand, he will attend the highly anticipated Women's World Cup match between the U.S. and the Netherlands and engage in meetings with New Zealand officials. Subsequently, in Australia, Blinken will hold discussions with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and their Australian counterparts. This Tongan adventure marks Blinken's third visit to the Asia-Pacific region in the past two months, reflecting the United States' heightened focus on this crucial part of the world. Notably, the State Department has recently notified Congress of its intentions to significantly increase diplomatic personnel and funding for U.S. embassies in Pacific Islands. China's strategic advantage in the region has been noted, with eight out of the 12 Pacific Island nations that the U.S. recognizes having permanent Chinese diplomatic facilities. The State Department's proposal aims to catch up with China's influence by boosting its presence through more staff and improved embassy facilities. Question to ponder, as the United States intensifies its engagement in the Pacific to counter Chinese influence, how will this geopolitical rivalry impact the region's dynamics? How can smaller nations like Tonga navigate these competing interests to ensure their own prosperity and sovereignty? Remember, the future of international relations is dynamic and ever-evolving. Let's spark a lively discussion and explore the implications together.